Pick a point on the African continent, any point, and Maersk won't be far away. Transporting the cargoes that connect Africa to the rest of the world. Securing the supply of energy to keep our world moving forward. Building businesses with local partners, creating jobs, helping the economy grow. Many places, one way of doing business. We are Maersk, and we're preparing for new times in a new Africa. African trade is growing. Every day, mountains of goods have to be moved from one side of the world to the other, to the most remote corners, to the busiest centers, between Africa and Asia and the rest of the world. The complexity of things can be hard to comprehend. Two MERS companies, Damco and Merskline, are both experts in transporting cargo over land and sea. For us at Max Line, we're into the business of making life easier for our customers, both in getting goods out of Africa into the rest of the world and then from the rest of the world into Africa. It excites me that we're able to help African manufacturers uh, to get out their produce on time uh, to the final receivers to the rest of the world and also help African importers uh, to bring in their goods to the final consumer. In that way, we contribute positively to oiling the trade machine and never have it running dry. We know demand is rising all over Africa, and we want to make sure that Africa is moving forward. And that is why we have introduced a brand new fleet of vessels, which are actually the biggest to sail these waters. And some actually refer to them as floating harbors because they come along with their own cranes, which are made to meet some of the challenges we face in some of the African ports. simply because we want to make it easier and faster for African companies to get their goods in and out. That is the essence of our job. Basically, it's about connecting Africa to the rest of the world and connecting businesses and consumers that might otherwise never meet. It might be difficult for us, but it will be easy for the customer. Most countries depend on oil and gas to keep their wheels turning, and demand is growing. For several African countries, natural oil and gas sources can be utilized for local investments and new jobs. But in many places, these reserves are not easy to extract. How is Maersk Oil helping countries unlock their potential? My name is Marianne Richterhausen. I'm working as a well site geologist in Maersk Oil uh, in Qatar. What really excites me about the job is that it's like a treasure hunt. We are searching for the black gold and we know it's hidden in the underground, we just don't know where it is. And by collecting and analyzing all sorts of data, we get indications of where the hydrocarbons are hidden.
Maersk Island never went for the easy accessible oil, but dealing with the more difficult reservoirs by gaining knowledge and developing technical skills on the way, uh, Maersk Oil succeeded in turning some of those marginal fields into huge commercial successes. And a brilliant example of this is the El Tijin field offshore Qatar, where we are now. When we went into Qatar, no one thought it would be possible to actually produce commercially from it. But we actually proved ourselves right by transferring our knowledge we have gained by working in the North Sea, which were also very difficult reservoirs, and transferring that knowledge to the Al Shaheen field. And today we are having a production of more than 300,000 barrels a day. It's all about using our science and technology in uh, turning the marginal fields into commercial successes and thereby making the impossible possible. And that's just great to be part of, and I love that. On this planet, eight out of 10 people live in countries with rapidly growing markets. Their children's future depends on building strong and stable economies. But what does it take to keep our economy growing? It starts with establishing trade connections to the world. Harbors and hubs through which trade can smoothly pass. With good roads and dedicated management. And people, local people, with the right motivation and the right skills to make the gateways work. In local partnerships, APM Terminals operates many ports worldwide, including nine in Africa. To see what difference a new container terminal can make for a region, let's visit Kai Mep in Vietnam. The terminal plays a very important role in Vietnam. It helps make Vietnam more competitive, so it makes me proud to be part of something this big. So this is far more than just a job. I'm connecting people, businesses, and countries with my country. Just to give you an idea, more than 30 million containers are passing through Merck's terminal worldwide in just one year. A single container can carry the yearly consumption of noodles more than 3,000 people. That gives you the picture of the magnitude of our operation. We lift as a team because there's no room for mistakes. So safety is top priority. That's why we have special focus on safety and human resources. We all need to share the same values to understand each other so we can work as one. Right now, Vietnam export twice what we import, but that's changing. Trade is bringing prosperity to my country. Soon the ships coming in will be just as full as ships that are leaving. I believe what we're doing here will be a great help for our country and our children will benefit from the prosperity that trade brings to us through the development of terminals like this one. When new sources of oil and gas are discovered, the task of assessing it is never easy. You have to put yourselves on top of things, even when the oil is located in the bottom of the ocean. Offshore African coasts, the local oil companies have located great reservoirs below two to 3,000 meters of water. Under such extreme conditions, it takes someone with expertise to do the drilling safely and responsibly. How is it working for Maersk drilling offshore West Africa on a rig designed for ultra deep water drilling? What's not to like about a rig like this? Look at it, out here in the middle of the ocean. I'm in charge of the drilling team, the auxiliary and the main side for the equipment for the well and also the safety of the guys out here. Out here we have to be ready for anything that uh, nature can throw at us. This is what you need, you'll need a rig like this. The old type rigs, they'll never be able to come out here. A huge rig like this can stay right in the very same spot all the time due to its dynamic positioning. 
no matter what the weather's like, the current, the waves, this can stay over the uh, top of a 50 pence piece. From a big rig like this now, we can drill 12 kilometers away just with the touch of a finger on a joystick and get ourselves right into that reservoir for the oil companies. We're the stars of the future, and that's why uh, they cost so much to build and they cost so much to operate. But now we're going to find the reservoirs that will give the oil companies huge returns, so it's worth it in the long run for them to pay for such a beauty like this. Wherever you meet Maersk, you will find people dedicated to making a difference. Because as Africa changes, one thing remains constant. We are working towards a better future. <laughs>